Well, look what we have here. From our good buddies over at Anthem. Some new wheels for the Red First Gen. For those of you who haven't seen yet, these are the tires we're putting on the Red First Gen. Toyo MTs. Now I did have a few people say that my Leafs looked like they were pretty flat in the front and you are definitely right, I did not ever notice that. But they are, they're, they're dang near reversed actually, they are a little bit. So that's something that I would like to get addressed. I'm trying to decide, let me know down in the comments, do you guys think it's very hard to just do that myself? Should I just take it to a shop and have them do it? I have no idea how, you know, involved that is to do. If it's very hard at all or not. It doesn't look like it'd be terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six bolts maybe. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think I should uh, drop it off or just try to do it? What is up Latin Proud Crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last couple of videos. It is just an extremely exciting thing to be able to go and you know just bless somebody that you love with a you know something nice. Um, and it's not just it's not about the item, but it's about you know giving back to somebody who really values it, appreciates it, and could really use it and need it. Um, and, and just to let them know, like, hey, dude, you know I'm here for you. I got you. And I told him, I said, if he ever needs anything, just let me know. I said, I would do anything for him. Uh, he said that was one of the greatest days of his life. So that says a lot um, coming from him. I haven't heard him say that too many times. So um, that's, a, that's a pretty, pretty big thing to me to be able to hear come from my grandfather. Just keep in mind, we are running a 12 valve giveaway night right now. We have this truck up for grabs, which is going to get new wheels and tires. And the front's going to get re-leveled back out. And then we've got the five-speed dually. And we've got Nasty Red, which is going to be back fairly soon, I think, within a week. Maybe, I don't know for sure. Jacob, hurry up on the truck there. Take your time, do a good job, but um, we're getting anxious to see it. Um, but anyways, we're gonna get these wheels and tires dropped off at the local shop right here, who mounts and balances all my tires, conveniently right around the corner. And then I've gotta run over to the farm and load up 24 big squares for a hay buyer. This is another one of the giveaway trucks. I'll load it up and get to go. Well, they do look really good, but due to my leafs being extremely flat, in fact, kind of reversed in the front, you can see that, um, I'm going to need the leveling kit installed before it'll perfectly fit. It almost clears, but it just rubs a little bit there, so when the tire would go back, it would snag that. I didn't try it, but I know that it started to rub there, and I knew if I turned that pass that these, these knobby tires are going to rip that off, and it just hardly touches on a full crank that way. So I don't want to have any problems with ripping fenders off the crap because that's no fun, but as you can see, there's a, there's a big difference in appearance from the front to there. You know what I mean? Like just, just beautiful, beautiful set up on this truck. And yes, I see all the fuel right there. The most annoying little thing. Yeah, let me show you, I'll show you what it is. Actually, you know what, I'll show you on this other truck as a demonstration because it'll be a lot easier since it's lower to the ground. It was, uh, really all it was is, it almost looks like a little priming button looking thing, but it's not even really a, a button, I guess it gets, I don't know what it is. But it was just lopsided and loose on there, so I just clicked clipped it back on there and then uh, it was fine. So that's all that was. This, you see this little spout right here? Let me get the zoom in. You see this little spout right here? Right there? There's like this little 
plastic fitting, it kind of spins around loosely like that and it pops off really easy. Well, it was like halfway lopsided hanging on and off of the VE pump on Big Red and that's all it was and I clipped it back on and the leak stopped. So just a, just a little thing that created that fuel leak. Once I clipped it back on, it was fine. It looks really good. Super, super excited. Cannot wait to be able to have these on the truck for good. Just, just beautiful, man. Absolutely love that. So if you guys are in need of any kind of extremely nice wheels at a very good value, definitely check out Anthem's website and they do actually sell the tires and everything there. But yeah, definitely go check out their website, Anthem Off-Road. They have all kinds of all kinds of different wheels and they're innovating non-stop trying to come out with new stuff. So just because it's not there right now doesn't mean it won't be soon. So definitely, definitely go take a peek at the website and give them a shot. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So yes, I pulled the truck out and yes, I took the wheels and tires off of the red first gen. And the reason for that is, well, as you saw, it did rub. So I figured it would be best just to take them off for now. I don't want to deal with rubbing and damage the fenders. Um, but I do have it scheduled to get a a two inch rear lift and a two and a half inch front lift put on. It is suspension, it's gonna be uh, just a leaf lift. Um, so I'm pretty excited about getting that done. It's gonna be uh, much needed and not to mention, I think just having new factory leafs would make, make the difference to be able to clear the tires. Um, but I just figured might as well do a leveling just to make sure that there's no issues with uh, rubbing at any point. If somebody does decide, let's say they put, want to put a little bit wider wheel on there at some point if they choose this truck in the giveaway or something like that. So also, good thing to take note of right now, we are doing a 12 valve giveaway. You could be winning this five speed manual first gen, or you could be winning the five speed manual dually second gen, or you could be winning the nasty red 12 valve Cummins. This giveaway ends in about 15 days, maybe 14 by, si by the time you see this video, and then it's over. And then also the everybody wins cash sale is ending the 15th. So that could be today, depending on when you see this, or it could be tomorrow, again, depending on when you see this. But every single order from the 11th of September until the 15th of September at 11.59 p.m. is getting cash in their order. It could be a dollar, five, 10, 20, 50, 100. It just depends. My mom's the one putting the cash in all the orders. I just give her a stack of cash and said, put some money in order. So that's what she's doing. Lots of stuff coming up. Got some stuff planned. I just came back down to Indiana for one day actually and then uh, that's I had to run by the bank for my mom to get the money for the orders I had to order some more merch in I had to pay some stuff um, had to get my wheels and tires picked up had to get them you know mounted, mounted and balanced and all that stuff um, and then I also had to make some phone calls and schedule some stuff we got some gauges for this truck coming in we've got some gauges for nasty red right? coming in I had to schedule that red truck for um, a lift installation I had to buy a lift um, it was just all kinds of stuff so I did all Oh, and I had to load two goosenecks with um, 24 to 29 big square bills. So I had to load down. I just had to do all kinds of stuff for the 36 hours, give or take, that I was in town. But I am thinking about going back either tonight, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Um, not exactly sure when you're going to see this video, but going back to Ohio to spoil my grandpa just a little bit more on his new truck because his truck's nice. It's a nice truck and he is more than grateful for it, the way it sits. If he bought that truck the way it sat, he wouldn't do anything to it. Now, are there things he'd like done to it? But he, yeah, but he wouldn't do anything to it himself. It's just, he's just content with how things are, whether his truck's run down, having transmission issues, he, like he's okay with it. Even if it means he, have to, he has to wrench on that thing every weekend, he is okay with just making it work, making do it, and just getting by with what he has. He's totally cool with that. But I wanna go above and beyond just to get that truck exactly what he wants. Just to top it off, just to top it off and make it that much better. So I'm super excited to see more of him on the channel. A lot of traveling, a lot of expenses being paid, traveling all back and forth. It's been an expensive couple weeks, um, but more than happy to do everything I can to try to bring happiness either to my grandfather or family in general, or to you guys. Totally forgot, I ordered some stuff for the dually. Yeah. Just a lot, a lot of stuff going on. So lots and lots and lots happening. So thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That truck should officially have the lift and wheels and tires on next week. Uh, we should be seeing Nasty Red next weekend. Just don't forget to enter that 12 valve giveaway. It is ending 
it's gonna be gone before you know it. Less than two weeks left to enter. Every $15 you spend is another entry to win. And if you place your orders before the 15th, at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you will get cash in that order. So don't forget to leave your likes and comments down below. Subscribe if you are new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.